I am glad you came. I must ask for your help. That is not easy for me. It's all right. Just tell me what you need. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is, right now. In a month, she may be gone. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. Where is she? Omega. A nightclub called Afterlife, which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. It is the most important thing in my life, and the reason I became a Justicar. Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. So is an Ardot Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardot Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morinth. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. I don't know that I blame her for running. When she fled, she proved her addiction. She was not taking a great moral stand. She simply wants to keep killing. She is a tragic figure, but not a sympathetic one. Can't she abstain? Each encounter gives her strength. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. She will never stop. She can't. So you hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. They have to choose between prison and death. It is an addictive condition. Remember how adaptive we are. If Morinth does not want to be cured, she won't be. This is definitely worthy of your full attention. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this... monster. She is my daughter. You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. And three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Marinth was always the wild one. She was happy and free, but selfish. I cannot imagine what this is like for you. I do not want pity, Shepard. I do not accept it. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. It sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I own nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. You either get stuck in your past or forget it and move on. I am not stuck in my past. I am out to rectify it. Help me find my long-lost daughter. 
and kill her. We'll go find Morinth. in Ardot Yakshi's location. However, given the reputation of Ardot Yakshi among the Asari, Arya Talok may have tracked her movements. Thank you. Is that a shepherd? Greetings. I was hoping you'd come by. I'm Ish, and this is Sel. You look like a good person to know. Friendly faces seem hard to come by around here. Reasonable people are more valuable than air in a place like this. I can see you're trying to flatter me. Don't. Of, of course. Forgive me. You just made me nervous, is all. I heard you talking about us. What do you want? Please, please. We're all friends here. There's no need for language of that sort. I need skilled, trustworthy people to take care of a little business for me. Nothing illegal, of course. But it's paying work. Not illegal? I doubt it. Well, it's certainly legal on Omega. I can't be expected to know the laws of every settlement in the galaxy, can I? I'm listening. I'm in the information business. Specifically, the buying and selling of privileged material. It's nothing illicit. I just need someone to pick up packages in certain locations and bring them to me here. I can do that. My contacts use specific drop points. I need you to look outside Merib's shop on the Citadel and inside Eternity on Ilium. Look around for anything that might hold a data package and... Good luck, my friends. What do you need? An Asari fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yakshi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so empty as an Ardat Yakshi does. You haven't taken steps to kill her. Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I start looking. Thanks for the help. Good luck finding her. Better luck catching her. Seems to care. 
The medics said it was a brain hemorrhage, but that's not true. It was murder. Someone killed my nephew, my baby. I think she was murdered, too. And I'm looking for her killer. Oh, thank you. It's so hard when no one believes you. I'm all alone now. Are you one of Arya's people? I'm looking into this on my own authority. No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. What kind of a girl was your daughter? My nephew had a fire inside her. She was shy, but she was creative and driven and... Huh, the best girl a mother could hope for. She was creative? How so? She was a sculptor. Several galleries were interested in her. Said her work was fresh. Did Neff hang out anywhere in particular? She was always quiet working here at home. Then, a few weeks ago, she started going out all the time. To the VIP area of that club down the street. I think you need a password or something to get in there. The change was so sudden. She just seemed... tired and distracted when she wasn't around Morinth. Did your daughter have a lot of friends? Not a lot, no. She was shy. Spent most of her time off making her sculptures, not hanging out with friends. Something did change in the last few weeks, though. She started talking about an Asari. Morinth. I see. I didn't like her. She kept dragging Neff out to clubs, and I'm pretty sure she gave my daughter drugs. Samara, does Morinth control her victims with drugs? She controls them through sheer will. The drugs are just a lifestyle. She loves the club, loves the base. She's a hedonist. So this Morinth did hurt my daughter? Is she the one that... That... I will bring justice to the one that did this. We swear to you, Neff will rest easy soon. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> My baby. What kind of a person was this Morinth? I never met her. But Neff talked about her like she was a queen. You'd swear there was no one else alive when she talked about Morinth. That sounds familiar. Do you mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. Her clothes, her art, her sculptures, everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. My baby is gone. She's gone. Thank you. I'm sorry, I just miss her so much. It's okay. We've all suffered loss. I know what it means to lose a daughter. I will avenge her. Thank you. Please, if it helps you find her killer, look through her things. We will be respectful. I'll examine her things. Neff made that. A man from some gallery offered me four years' salary for it. But I'd never part with it. Neff. I'm sending you this hologram by the Elcor artist Forta. His work is sublime, but don't stare at it too long or you may go mad. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, love. I can't wait to hear what you think of Forta. Read the oldest entry. Hey, diary. Cycle 34, orbit 671. There's a lot to talk about. I dropped your root's name and they let me into the VIP room at Afterlife. I'm sure everyone was staring at me. Then the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for skewers, and I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. Read the middle entry. Cycle 36, orbit 671. Oh, am I a freak? Morinth is a girl like me, and... She's definitely not human. Just when we dance and the Halex is flowing through me, the way she looks at me with a hunger, a longing, no one's ever looked at me like that. We kiss tonight. Read the newest entry. Cycle 42, orbit 67. She's going to take me to her apartment tonight. 
Whatever happens, I want to be with her forever. She can sell my pieces. We can live somewhere glamorous, like the women in Vienna that Vid Morinth likes. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. Close the hollow journal. This is Morinth's work. She's attracted to artists and creators. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal. Then she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. She kills with sex, and I have no plans to sleep with her. Perhaps you have a right to be glib, Shepard. But caution is wise here. Morinth speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. She sounds like my kind of a sorry. You joke, Shepard. But for all your might, you will be in great danger. Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for fifty years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. So we have to lure her out. Exactly. Shepard, you read my mind. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. Hm. She'll come after me. You can draw Morinth out. She'll certainly flee if she catches sight of me, but she won't be able to resist you. You are an artist on the battlefield. You have the vital spark that attracts her. Your power will draw her in. I'm walking into this place with no gun and no backup? I will be in the shadows watching, Shepard. You will never be alone. This I swear. But you cannot barge in with guns and allies. Morinth is far too cagey. She'd simply disappear. This is a subtle, delicate act. Trust me. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're there. Hello again. Did you find anything? Is there anything I can do to help? I should go. 